this is Claudine, and today we'll be moving through a full body flow. Thank you for joining us. Let's begin in a kneeling position, hero's pose. Tuck the toes under and come to sit on your heels. And if this feels a little too intense for you right now, you're welcome to take a crisscross seat. Wherever you are, let your hands rest on your lap, and then either close your eyes or soften your gaze to one point. Begin to lengthen through the back side of your body by anchoring down through your sitting bones and extending all the way up through the top of your head. Allow the shoulders to relax and soften down towards the earth and notice your breath. Now bring your hands up to the outside of your rib cage and see if on your next inhalation, you can invite an expansive breath. As you exhale, gently squeeze your ribs in towards the midline of your body. Let's try that again. Inhale nice and wide. And exhale to squeeze and narrow. Shoulders stay relaxed. Let's do one more. Inhale. Expand the ribs and exhale, narrow. Open your eyes and take your hands to the mat, set up for a tabletop position. So you'll want to walk your feet apart from each other um, so that your knees are stacked below your hips and then walk your hands any way you need so that you can align your shoulders over your wrists. Spread out all 10 fingers and ground down through the knuckles in your hands. Grip the mat with your finger pads. On your next inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone for cow pose. And then exhale as you round the spine for cat. Inhale to cow, let the belly drop and then the heart shine forward. And round out the spine, really draw your navel up towards the ceiling. Go for one more, awakening to your breath and waking up the spine. And then come back to a neutral tabletop position. Now tuck your toes if they're not already tucked here and then press down through the four corners of your hands and then the ball mounds of your feet so firmly that you're able to float the kneecaps a couple inches off off the mat. Scoop your tailbone up and under to create length in the low back and then stretch the top of your head forward. Inhale here and exhale, lower your knees back to the ground. Lift your hips high and back, downward facing dog. And seal your lips. And as you inhale next through the nose, send the breath to the back of your throat. Then reverse that path as you exhale out the nose. Take a look up at your hands and walk to your hands, come into a forward fold. Bring your feet together to touch, lift and spread the 10 toes and anchor through your heels. Now bend your knees and roll up to stand tall at mountain pose. Sweep the arms high. On your next inhalation, make the palms touch and lower them down to heart center. Inhale in here. Exhale to relax the shoulders down. All right, here on your next inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms and then step back into high plank. Press away from your yoga mat and reach the crown of your head forward as you send the heels back. Find this hollow body position as you lift the front body up towards the back. Stay here for three more counts. Two, one, lower down to your knees, tabletop. Untuck the toes, press into the tops of your feet. Again here, inhale to cow pose. 
and exhale to cat. Do that again, your cow pose, nice and slow with the breath. And then exhale to cat. Come back to a tabletop position. Now bump your hips left as you curl your gaze over to the right. Come back to center, take the hips right, gaze over your left shoulder. All right, come back to center, tuck the toes under, peel the hips up towards the ceiling for a downward facing dog. Call, crawl through your finger pads, like really ground down here. Now make your left heel heavy as you lift your right leg up high, three-legged dog, and then draw your right knee to your left elbow. Sweep the right leg high, and then take the right knee to the right elbow again, shoulders over wrists as you come forward. Stretch the right leg high one more time, Again, bring it back to the left elbow. Kick your right leg up high. This time, step it all the way through in between your hands to come into a low lunge. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Take a big breath as you lift your chest and your heart. Squeeze your inner thighs in towards the midline. Good, take another breath here. Bring your hands to the ground as you exhale, palms flat into a low lunge. So lift the back knee. Ready, step the left foot back, the front foot back into a high plank. Inhale, exhale to downward facing dog. All right, get heavy in your right heel now as you lift the left leg high for three-legged dog. As you exhale, shift forward, taking the left knee to the right elbow. Okay, lengthen out your left leg. Bring knee to opposite elbow. Inhale long, keep clawing through the finger pads, right? And then bring the left knee to the right elbow, touch in, lengthen out the left leg, and then step lightly between the hands, come into your low lunge. Okay, create an intentional foundation here. And then when you're ready, sweep your arms up on the inhale. Okay, stretch from the floor all the way through your fingertips. And then bring your fingertips down to the ground. Plant the palms, step back to high plank. Inhale, long exhale to down dog, hips high and back. Inhale, your heels high. Exhale, your knees soft, gaze forward, and then step or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra. Pause in a moment of stillness to observe your breath. Good work. Sweep your arms high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant the hands, step back to high plank. Okay, this time, shift forward and lower all the way down to the belly. Come into a cobra pose as you inhale. And exhale, lower your forehead to the mat. Rise up for cobra. Exhale, lower forehead to mat. Here we go, cobra once more. Squeeze your elbows into the side body and then lower down slowly all the way. Okay, tuck your toes, press your heels away from you to lift the kneecaps and then press up to high plank. Nice and strong. Bring your feet together to touch and then drop both heels over to the right as you lift your left arm high for side plank. Inhale, 
Come back to center to high plank. Spin the heels to the left now and peel your right arm up towards the ceiling, side plank. Lift your hips up high. Bring the right hand down, back to high plank. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale with a sigh. <sighs> Lift the right leg high, come into three-legged dog. And this time, bring the right knee to the right elbow. Kick the right leg up. Repeat, right knee to right elbow. Kick the right leg high and back. Exhale, knee to elbow. Last time, squeeze. Now send the right leg up high, three-legged dog. Step the right foot forward, come into your lunge. Okay, so option to either keep the back knee lifted or lower it down. Now sweep the arms up high. Scoop your tailbone up and under. And from the base of your spine, lengthen up to the top of your head. Bring your hands back down to the mat, framing your front foot. Keep the left hand right where it is, and on an inhale, reach the right arm up, come into a lunge twist. Ground the right hand, step the front foot back, come into high plank. Shift forward and lower down all the way or to chaturanga this time, and then take a back bend, either cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog, everyone. All right, on your next breath in, lift the left leg high. Exhale the left knee to left elbow. Shift forward so the um, shift forward so the upper body's in high plank. Cool. And then stretch out the left leg long. Shift it forward, left knee to left elbow. Okay, extend the left leg long. Last one, elbow to knee touch, and then extend three legged dog. This time, step the left foot in between your hands for your lunge. Back knee lowered or lifted, and then here, sweep the arms up high, upper arm bones by your ears. Okay, keep length in your neck by dropping the shoulders away from the ears. Pull your thumbs back as you inhale. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Plant the palms. And then twist open, left fingertips up to the sky this time. As you exhale, bring the left hand down, plant the palm, step it back to high plank, and then take a little vinyasa here. So belly to cobra or chaturanga to up dog. And then use the exhale to journey back to downward facing dog. Great work. Take a nice deep breath here. And then a long breath out. Look forward, step or hop forward. Halfway lift. Fold forward and soften. Wrap your arms around the backside of your legs and come into this um, bound fold. Okay, bend your knees as generously as you need so that you can get your chest to rest on your thighs. Relax the skull down towards the earth. Okay, release your arms now. And then come into chair pose. Dig into your heels and lift and spread your toes. Okay, draw the belly button in and up and sit a little bit lower. Gaze forward, sink a little bit lower. Inhale. Exhale, last one on, you, on your inhale, rise up to stand tall. And then bring your hands together at heart center, Anjali Mudra. Again, another moment for stillness to feel the, the warmth you've created. Reconnect with yourself right here, right now. Okay, we're going to come into a couple standing balancing poses now. So shift the weight into your left foot. Then when you're ready, come into stag pose, lifting the right knee to the level of 
the hips. Now move into tree pose by grabbing a hold of your right ankle and then placing your right foot anywhere along the inside of your standing leg. Wherever you are, find like an upward lift from the front side of your body, then like loop it around and then balance it down through the back side of your body. Tailbone extends towards the earth. Breathe slow and steady. Press in through all four corners of your lifted foot and then press that standing leg into your lifted foot, a rebound of energy coming both ways. Extend your arms up overhead if they're not there, play with that or keep the hands at prayer. Maybe even cactus open the arms, find what feels good for you. And then when you're ready, slowly release. All right, ground down through your right foot now as you float the left knee up, come into your standing stag pose. Now, Make your way to tree. Explore this pose with this leg now, with these legs, the shape. With a strong foundation, steadiness here, then space to grow and expand through the top half of your body. Again, like finding what feels good with your arms is an expression of this pose. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, slowly release. Come to the top of your mat. Sweep your arms high, extended mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Okay, lift up off of your heels onto your toes and then slowly bend your knees down, down, down until you're in a squat, a toe squat here. Okay, so your hands can be on the ground or fingertips on the ground to help you keep your balance. Just squeeze your inner thighs together, squeeze your heels together. Curl your head towards your knees. And then gently come to sit back onto your seat. Stretch the left leg long and then take the right heel to the outside of the left hip. Give a good hug onto your right leg. Inhale wide. And then as you exhale, take the right hand behind you and twist. Take one more expansive inhalation, sit up tall. And then twist a little bit deeper as you exhale. Come back to center, straighten out the um, the opposite leg, bring the right knee in, or rather the left knee in, taking the left foot to the outside of your right hip. Okay, sit up nice and tall, inhale, shoulders relaxed, then exhale, twist left. Again, one more nice slow breath here. See if you can twist a little bit deeper as you exhale, and then come back to center. Nice work. Slowly lower, come to lower all the way down onto your back. And then rest your hands by your sides, palms turned up, with the feet relaxed open. And come into this final pose of your practice, Shavasana. Let's take one last deep breath together. Let it go.